What's going on YouTube? Justin right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the A12 jailbreak for the iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 and 12.1.3, why there is no A12 jailbreak for the moment and when we should expect one. Now for those of you who are new to the channel and do not know what an A12 device is, it's basically the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR. These devices are not jailbroken for the moment on 12.2, even though the uncovered jailbreak has been released for iOS 12.2, 12.1.3 and 12.1.4 and it's actually been a while since it's been released but with no support for the A12 devices. Same thing for the Chimera jailbreak or the Electra jailbreak. You probably know that the Chimera jailbreak was made by the Electra team and they used to make the Electra jailbreak for iOS 12 and iOS 11 but also they did not create a version for the A12 devices and there is one single reason behind this. There is no PAC bypass. Now what is exactly a PAC bypass? Well, with the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR, Apple introduced a new CPU which is basically the A12 chip. Now that chip actually has the ARM v8.3 instruction set which contains PAC or pointer authentication codes. It's basically a security feature that prevents some of the exploitation from going on. Now Brandon Azad, a security researcher, has made a very very good presentation at Mosaic 2019 and he talked about the PAC especially on the A12 and so on you know iOS and how it works and especially how it works on the A12 devices and how it's implemented how it protects from various kinds of attacks and exactly how it's implemented at the uh, chip level but anyways it's important to understand that in order for Pound to own or for the Electro team to create a jailbreak for the A12 devices on iOS 12.2 they would need an additional patch compared to the other devices like the iPhone 10, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, the iPhone 6 and so on. They would need a PAC bypass which would allow them to basically bypass these in here which are pretty good security techniques used by Apple and other manufacturers who use the ARM v8.3 in their chips. So this is basically in the chip itself, it's pretty hard to bypass and usually you need various techniques in order to be able to do that. A few techniques have been out outlined in this talking here and in this presentation at Mosaic by Brendan Azad and according to Saigusa some of them even work. He said in here quote, ah, there is this though and he basically links to the presentation in here and he says quote, method 4 is certainly still there in iOS 12.2 and method 3 should be as well and might be more convenient to use. And he basically replied to a developer called Triangle who said quote, Fair warning to A12 users, you will be waiting a long time since there is no new PAC forgery method for the moment. So yeah, contrary to what Triangle said, Saguza confirms that the method 4 and 3 presented by Brandon Azad here on his Mosaic presentation are still usable, though that basically requires somebody to take the methods outlined in here and to apply them into a jailbreak, which that requires quite a lot of work and therefore I don't see that being done anytime soon. So yeah, that's the reason we do not have an A12 jailbreak for the moment because these actually require this bypass to be implemented. The bypass 3 apparently works according to Saigusa and the fourth one can also be implemented. So yeah, until we see these implemented in any of these jailbreaks like the Uncover or Chimera jailbreak, we will not be able to jailbreak the A12 devices. So the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and the latest iPads require a PAC bypass which does exist but it has to be implemented before we will be able to use it and that will take time and testing. So the A12 jailbreak will still take some time. Now the worst thing you can do right now if you have an A12 device is to update it to iOS 13 or to iOS 12.3 and so on. Do not do that. The more you update it the worse it's going to be because in iOS 12.2 the PIC bypasses that I mentioned, the method 4 and 3 outlined by Brennan Azad still work but they may not be working on iOS 12.3 and newer so you will have to wait even more for a jailbreak if you update. The best thing to do is to stay where you are. If you're running iOS 12.2, stay there. If you're running 12.1.3 or 12.1.4, stay right there. A jailbreak will come at some point, but it takes time because the PIC is actually a new security technique and it's only available on the A12 devices, making problems only there. So the developers have to focus on that and unfortunately I cannot help in any way because I do not have an A12 device so I cannot develop anything, I cannot test anything and that's unfortunate so I will leave that to Pound to Own and Coolstar and so on. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.